Arise and shine. Your light has come. Welcome, my dear friends, to the great feast of Epiphany. The story of three wise men coming to meet the Lord Jesus. My dear friends, this is the cry and call of God to all the mankind. Arise. Arise to shine. Arise with his light. Yes. God is always calling man to get up where he is lying, to shine forth in his light. That's what in today's first reading we read. The whole world is lying in darkness. So what? The mankind are covered with the thick darkness. So what? Whatever may be around you doesn't matter because the Lord is shining inside you. Be aware of the Lord inside you and get up. And those who are arising with this good news, they will shine forth in life. The world is always world. The humanity is always humanity. It may have its own problem and struggle. The problems and the situations around you cannot take away the great call God has given to you to arise because He is with you. He is inside you. Be aware as Colossians 1.27 where Paul says the great glorious God is within you. This is the great secret, great mystery. Yes, on that day a mysterious star rose. And so many people saw it. But these three wise men heard the inner voice saying, Take a risk. Get up. Go and meet your Savior. Get up. Hearing the voice, obeying the voice, taking the risk and meeting the Savior. It's the beautiful story of these three wise men. Today also, there are various types of noises around the world. Today's first reading says, all the mankind are covered with the darkness. But upon you, my light is shining. Can you see my light? Can you hear my voice arise? If you hear, you will shine in my light. When these three wise men, when they heard the voice of God, they got up. Even today, the same voice of the Lord is heard. Rise, man. Your life is once on this earth. Don't throw away your life for anything and everything. There are so many type of noises. People are thrown away to the variety of politics that is going on in the world. Seeing the corruption in the world. And they are trying to cry over why these things are happening. Why there is no justice, no injustice, all kinds of things. But God is asking us, be aware of the voice of the Lord that comes from within. Be aware of the Lord's presence that abides in you. Move with Him. Rise up with Him and make this world beautiful. Don't allow the world to destroy you. But rise with the Lord and bless this world. Anoint this world with his word, with his presence. This is the beautiful story. Yes. When these three wise men heard the voice from within, they rose up. Not that their road was rosy. They did not know where they are going. Yes. Going to unknown place can disturb us, can confuse us, can frighten us. But when they obeyed the inner voice, they could come out of all that fear, all that where we are going, what we are going. Today, the greatest problem with the mankind is not willing to take risk, not willing to take, to hear the voice of God and obey the voice of God. Jesus said in John 15, 7, If you remain in me, and my word 
remains in you, whatever you ask will be granted to you. We read in the book of Genesis, chapter 13, verse 17, the Lord said to Abraham, My son, Lot has taken away the best portion of your land. Don't get upset. Arise. Arise with the Lord who is inside you and see with your eyes. See the left, right and get up and walk wherever you walk. That will be a land for you. Whatever you see in faith, that land will be given to you and to your generation. God told Abraham, rise. Don't get upset because somebody has cheated you. Yes. Abraham arose and we know the story how his generation possessed the beautiful land. Yes. In Genesis chapter 21 verse 18 we read when Hagar, a woman who saw her own son is going to die, he is crying for water in the desert, no water. The situation is horrible. The sun heat. But the Lord said, Arise, my daughter. Arise. Lift up the boy. The woman obeyed the voice of the Lord. The situation is very bad. Her own son is dying. And the Bible says, She didn't want her son to die. And she didn't want to see her son dying. So she turned her face. But God said, Come. Arise, lift up the boy. And when she obeyed, the next thing automatically followed. The Lord said, See, there is a well. They saw the well full of water in the desert. Yes, the situations will be very bad. But if you hear the inner voice of God and if you obey, you will get water even in the desert. And the Lord said, A beautiful promise. Your son will become a great nation. Many kings will be born out of him. Yes. My dear, even today, the Lord's voice continued to hear. Yes. We read in the book of Genesis chapter 28, verse 2. Brother of Jacob want to kill Jacob. Jacob is so frightened. And his mother Rebecca says, please send my son away. Now Isaac calls Jacob in Genesis 28.2 and says, Arise, don't get upset because if somebody wants to kill you, don't get upset. Your mother is shouting at you, Arise. When you arise, there is hope for you. Go to your uncle's house. God has prepared a home for you. A family for you. A wife for you. A life for you. Yes, today, again and again, the voice of the Lord is heard. All around the world, things are going bad. When the three wise men obeyed that voice of God, they saw the star once again going before them. Not only the star is going before them, suddenly they unknowingly entered into the land of Herod, an evil man. When they entered into the sinful field, sinful area of our life, when we entered into the sinful area of our life, suddenly we find the anointing God has given to us, the light God has given to us disappears. This is the human story. We all Go with a great enthusiasm to follow the Lord. But on the way, we get stuck up with some problems, some situations. Some situations are so horrible. Some situations are connected with the sin. It takes away all of our light. It puts us into confusion and disturbances. A young woman told me, Father, I prayed and got my husband with many years of prayer. And we were living a wonderful life. A child God had given to us. Wonderful job. Until one day, I met a young man in my office. The young man 
showed suffered so much of love and affection for me. My husband was a very tired man. He was working for the family day and night. He was worried about my son to educate him. He was so much worried about to buy a house for me. And the process, poor man, he didn't have that much of affection for me. Maybe he was busy, but my heart unknowingly fell in love with that young man. I went away with him. And three days we went in the form of office work. But we did not go. We went somewhere for fun. My husband came to know. His heart was broken. He left my home. I do not know where he went. He took away my son and went away. Today, I am alone. I have a house. I have the gold which he bought for me. I have even so many clothes. But I don't have him. This is the tragedy. I am searching for him for the last seven years. I don't know where is he. My son is gone. My husband is gone. My life is gone. The enemy will come in the form of sin and it will bring darkness. You have to keep alive the voice of God. Are you? Have you fallen? Look unto the light. When these three wise men, they lost the star, they lost the light, unknowingly entered into that evil territory of Herod. But when you trust in God and obey the voice of God, God will turn everything into good. It is there they met three people together. They found a community. Sometime when you are struggling alone, God will turn everything into good if you trust Him. Sometime from out of darkness, He will bring light. That is the beauty of our God. If we trust in Him, He will scatter you. But the same God, because of your sin, you are scattered. But when you cry to Him, He will once again build you up. He will gather you together. That's what we read in Jeremiah 31 10. Yes, like the shepherd, like the shepherd redeems the scattered sheep, your God will redeem you. Arise and shine for him and shine with him. And the three wise men, not only they came together, they had a wonderful truth which was unfolded to them. When they were in distress, the only power that, that helped them was when Herod called the scripture scholars. They opened the scripture and they found in the book of Mika chapter 5 where Jesus will be born. Yes, my dear friends, in our disturbances, in our brokenness, suddenly we find everywhere darkness. How to rise and shine? God gives us the gift of the word of God. When we hold on to the word, like those three wise men, once again, they receive light. The way is not clear, but they have the confidence. They know very well now where to go. That's why in the book of Job, Job says, when I go east, I don't find my God. When I go to west, I don't find again. But I know very well, my Lord knows my way. Where I go, the eyes of my God is always on me. Yes, this is the truth. When the three wise men, they caught hold of the promise of the word of God and they caught up once again. Once again from the dead place, the word of God made them to rise. Today are you dying in your problem, in your situation? Hold on to the word of God and your life will be built. When I was in Mutangi, sometime I did not know how to take care of those children. 85 rapturous children were given to me. I was praying. One day, literally we didn't have rice. I was literally praying, kneeling and praying. I was asking for rice. God sent a man with a full load of rice, dal, oil. 
friends. My dear friends, then only I came to know, the sister in charge told me, yes, there is no oil, there is no dal, but God knew it. I did not know. I was not told. I was only praying for the rice. God gave everything. How did it happen? When I was praying, I was kneeling and praying, the Lord spoke to me from the book of Isaiah, chapter 60, verse 20. Yes, everywhere it will be darkness, but my God, His light will shine upon you. Yes, the sun may fail to give its light, the moon may fail, but the light that comes from God will never fail you. Yes, God took care of us. Today, those children, have, some of them have completed even MCA. What a mighty God. Yes. Eyes, God has kept great things for you. When these three wise men, when they arose, they did not know there is a trick of the king behind them. You go, worship the Lord and come back and tell me. I also want to go and worship him, Herod said. And these three wise men, they were simple guys. Without guile, they went and they wanted to come back to Herod. But the Lord wanted them not to go. So they returned to their home safely. When we walk in the ways of the Lord, varieties of people, they are planning many things. We do not know why they do. How do they do? Different type of people want to do different things for us. Some want to bless us. Some want to destroy us. Some want to cunningly doing many things, many schemes. But we may not be afraid. When we hear the voice of God, obey the voice, move with the Lord, His light is sufficient for us. His wisdom is sufficient for us. And these three wise men, they heard the voice of God and they did not fall into the hands of Herod once again. They went to their home safely. We all of us will reach the home very safely. But while we live on this earth, we have to go through many trials. That's why in Isaiah 52 verse 2 says, Put on the strength which the Lord gives to you. So this feast of Epiphany means life is a journey. On this journey, the Epiphany feast says, Hear the voice of God. Only this voice of God will protect you. This voice of God and the risk you take to walk with God. So the risk to walk with God and obeying the voice of God will take care of you. And they saw the Lord Jesus. They gave whatever they had. The earthly things of gold, fragrance, mire. And they received the greatest truths of the word of God. They saw Jesus Christ and they heard the way God is guiding and directing their lives and they were reached their home safely. May the same God who led these three wise men lead you to. Let's pray that we will have the courage to rise up to live for God. Everything in this world is passing away. We read 1 John 2.26 The world and all its glory is passing away. After all, life is only once. Take risk for God and you will never regret. And you will, your faith will be honored. That's why in the book of Isaiah 7.9 says, If you don't stand now with God, nothing in your life will never stand. Only in God your life will be standing. Rise up, take risk for God. Let this one life Bring forth life. Second, on the journey of life, let anything happen. The one who called us is faithful. He will stand with us. First Thessalonians 5, 23 and 24. Yes. Surrender your body, mind and spirit to him. And he will honor you as he honored Abraham. As he honored many servants. Yes. Arise. And his voice will protect you. And reach you safe home. Hey, you have a wonderful feast. 
Let's pray. God, Heavenly Father, we thank you for this wonderful feast, full of meaning. On our life journey, you want us to hear your voice, to take risk, and to get up and to shine with your light, to see your own sun, and to be guided by you. Jesus, as we too have heard your voice and walk, we to go through many troubles and pain. We do not know what are the tricky people on our way. What are the evils that are coming on our way? But we will not be afraid. All that matters is like the three wise men. Give us the grace and the courage to get up and walk with you. Constantly depend on your word. Follow to your word. Hold on to your word. And move with the voice of yours. And see you and reach your home safely. Bless all those who hear this word. Anoint them all with your Holy Spirit. The Spirit to hear your voice, to take courage and risk in life and walk with your presence. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord.